So, in this video, there are many things for us to have a look at. First of all, brand new world exclusive Far Cry 4 co-op gameplay that was captured at a recent press event in Paris by the lovely guys at VG247. So before I get started, a massive thank you to those guys for supplying me with what is some really good footage of some co-op gameplay in Far Cry 4. The first thing you saw in the intro was being basically taken down by a rhino. And what other game can you play right now that you can go and kill a rhino in? I don't know many of them. There are probably some activist groups out there that won't agree with some of the things you can do in this game. But who's, who's to argue with that? I mean, it's a game. And I think it's really cool with some of the things that you can do. Very interesting though is depending on how you kill an animal in this game, you can obviously take its skin and use its meat and different things like that. So you can use the meat as bait or you can take the skin to craft yourself something that you can wear or, or part of a weapon or something like that. But if you shoot it or just sort of blow it up with a grenade, you're not going to have much left. Whereas if you kill it with like the auto crossbow, which is going to kill it without causing too much damage, then you're going to have a lot more resources to work with. That was something that wasn't in Far Cry 3. If you just killed something, then you went up to it and you got exactly the same if you blew it up with a grenade than if you killed it with a throwing knife. And I think that dynamic element that's in Far Cry 4 is a really nice addition. It's a step forward in terms of dynamics and I think it's a really cool addition to the game. Next up, and you've probably already seen it in the gameplay because we killed a rhino with it, and that's the AK-47. This wasn't in the most recent trailer where they detailed some of the weapons that are going to be in Far Cry 4, so I think it's kind of cool that we do now know it's in there. We have seen it before a couple of times in different trailers and things like that, but it's finally good to see some gameplay with it. Just very briefly, detailing what's, what's going on in the background here, the two players are working their way towards a sort of uphill base where they have to infiltrate it, take out all the enemies and then the co-op mission will, will finish. And you'll, you'll see in a minute how that actually plays out. It's really cool though that in the Far Cry 4 PS4 version I believe, that there is a section of the game that allows you to hook a player in from any other PS4 in the world for two hours and they can play the game without even having to pay for it. I think that's a really cool feature, obviously co-op's going to be in every version of Far Cry 4 for the Xbox, for the PC, whatever. But the fact that on PS4 you get to play the game for two hours without even having to pay for it, I think could make for a really good taster session. And at the same time, you want to play with your mates in co-op mode, you want to play with somebody that you're familiar with and that you know, and it will probably turn into a really good experience. And the fact that you can do that for free, I think is a really nice touch by Ubisoft. Now, just very quickly, I'm going to mention a couple of things about the graphics that we're looking at here for the PS4 version of the game. I'm then going to switch up the gameplay and show like a, a second co-op mission that, that was attempted in the gameplay, which will show off something really cool and frankly one of the best looking weapons that I've ever seen <laughs> in a Far Cry game. But overall, I just wanted to quickly have a look at the graphics settings that we've got here. There is quite a lot of motion blur, and I played this game at, at EGX London, and I have to say that the motion blur for me on the PS4 version of the game was a little bit distracting, and it, it was quite heavy. Um, I can't verify what the resolution of the gameplay is that we're watching. What I can tell you is that it was recorded at 1080p 30 frames a second, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the game itself was running at 1080p and 30 frames a second. That depends on what capture device is being used. And right now, we don't really have any indication as to what game sort of resolution is going to be for the next generation of consoles. We can assume that on last generation that it's going to be max 720p, probably lower at 30fps. And we hope on PC we're looking at a fully fledged 1080p non-limited version of the game. But right now we can't really be too certain as to what we're looking at. But for me, the footage does have a little bit too much motion blur and it may be something Ubisoft might want to tweak before they release the final game. Moving on though, I want to show you this. You're looking at the customization system for weapons within Far Cry 4. Now, in different places on the map, this is highlighted on the minimap for you. All you have to do is go up to that area, hit a certain button on the controller and you can jump into a menu, start swapping out weapons, buying new ones, customizing ones that you have with different loadouts and attachments and things like that. And I just wanted to show you this because I don't think it's really been detailed anywhere else. So I just thought I'd get, let you have a quick look at it. 
And I think for first person shooters, it's, it's really important to have quite a good customization system and a, a plethora of weapons nowadays, really. If you go into the market with only having a few weapons, I don't really think it would work too much. Imagine going back to Bad Company 2 after Battlefield 4. It's like, well, why have I only got five weapons for the assault class? I don't think it would really work. Not as having as many weapons as a game like Battlefield 4, but still having a good selection, I think, is really important. Now from the footage in the background we can clearly see that you're going to have the option to stick three different attachments on the sniper rifle. You've got the option to choose where you want to put it in your holster and you have the option for a camo for the weapon as well which looks really cool. All of these can be bought from the market here. You can pick these weapons up off players on the ground and you don't have to have the massive outlay of money to buy these weapons. If you happen to pick one of these up though I think you'd be very lucky because these things are quite rare. And that about wraps up what I really wanted to cover in this video. There's not a huge amount more for me to show you. There is a little bit of gameplay with the sniper rifle there. I might add that that sniper rifle is a 50 cal, so you can take out large animals such as elephants and rhinos with one shot with this thing. So it is extremely powerful. So if you do get your hands on it, make sure you do... Uh, give it a go and um, make sure you use it as it was intended. You can shoot people through walls and destroy things as well with it, which does sound ultimately cool. But as I said, that's about all I really wanted to talk about in today's video. I just wanted to give you the chance to see some more footage for Far Cry 4. I'm really excited for this game. As I've said before, it doesn't look massively different to Far Cry 3, but if it plays well, if it's got a good story and it's got the action in there, I can't see why this isn't going to be one of the best games to come out for 2014. But thank you very much for watching. I will have some more Far Cry footage up later in the week for you to see. A little bit more exclusive footage. I've got quite a lot of it sitting here. So I'm going to sift through it and see what I can find. And probably put another video together later in the week. But thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a rating and a comment down below. I do try and read as many comments as I can. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Westy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.